Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Sidewinder Shed. I'm sorry, I was... I'll explain this as Halloween time is going with my costume and everything, so... Forgive me for, for covering up the gray. But anyway, I just want to... Uh, I realized Sidewinder Shed here. I've never really shown a whole lot of the shed, so we're going to take a walk around the shed, and I'm going to going to show you the outside and the inside I'm uh, I'm working on the yard right now uh, we got rid of the pool and I got a bunch of brush that I took down out back and everything but anyway well uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of give you a tour of the shed and uh, I'll be right back with you all righty all right here I can't get back far enough to show you everything because I'm I'm up against my uh, back porch but this is the side of the shed that is you uh, are in my back porch looking out the windows this is what you see and uh, yeah that's a little bit of my wood for the winter for the wood stove in my old grill and everything the fence we made a little work table but yeah there's the uh there's the back porch and as you're looking out those windows and they they are windows now uh they're removable but that's for winter time for the cold weather but opposite right opposite that is my old shed and uh yeah she's about 16 feet tall actually no i think it's yeah to the peak to the peak i think is 16 feet but anyway then we come around to the side here right that pile of brush right there that's where the pool used to be. I'll be getting rid of that today. The brush, I already got rid of the pool. This fence next week, me and the next door neighbor, we're tearing this fence down and we're putting up a new one. And good Lord, that's a long fence. But anyway, here's the other side of the shed. And I call it a shed. It used to be, as you can see, it was built as a two-car garage and uh, that's like the third door that somebody put on it that was there when we moved in but unfortunately the springs on it are broken so it doesn't want to roll up it just folds in on itself and they had uh, somebody had closed off the uh, the other door and that's where the man room is, is in that section right there. But anyway, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fairly decent sized shed. And uh, no, I haven't cleaned up the inside. That's uh, another project. That's why I'm up early this morning. I'm going to be going back in here and at least organizing it we have the uh, halloween party this is uh right before halloween 2023 so if this video stays up and people want to see it but i wanted to show you the inside of the shed before i start cleaning it and then i'll i'll show you how much progress i made but over here on this side i usually try to keep all my woodworking tools and stuff you know some are uh, some of the automotive tools and woodworking tools they're interchangeable they do dual purpose and good lord yeah I got a got a lot of tools all sorts of different types in here and as you can see it goes up pretty high and then I have uh, a truss type roof instead of just uh, rafters. It's a truss style roof. 
And yeah, tools. I got I got a mix of tools. I have Dewalt. I have Rigid. I have Ryobi, Craftsman, Bosch. All just whatever I could afford at the time. Got a router table that's buried over there. Uh, radial arm saw. And of course my uh, table saw. And the cabinets there with all sorts of paints, chemicals, cleaners, uh, oils and everything. And uh, wood stove. Oh my God, and a painting I did, jeez, 20 some odd years ago. But then we come around, and of course we got the man room, and more storage, toolboxes, all kinds of stuff. And yeah, everything is a friggin' mess. Got a big old fan here. And right here, that was that big outside door. And I've got stuff piled about five feet away from the door. The wife's motorcycle is buried back there. Um, as I started cleaning this up and getting everything organized, yeah, we had to do, uh, had to clean up the uh, outside yard and the house. And so everything started getting brought in here. Now the man room, up above the man room, which I don't think I've shown too often, is a 12 foot ceiling, 12 foot wide ceiling. So what you see, it overhangs. The man room itself is about 10 feet wide and the uh, that overhangs another two feet. And so I have that whole top part you see that goes back 12 feet and in between oh it's hard to see with that light there but because of the trusses there's probably about four and a half feet of clearance but when you go in between the trusses there's over six or seven feet of clearance right there so yeah once i get this place cleaned up it actually has quite a bit of room and of course, you know, let me see. There, we got the man room. All right. And yep, it's still a mess in here, up there a little bit, but like I said, I, I have made some progress. We are we are getting things organized. That uh, That's a Murphy bed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to gut it. It's, it's no good anymore. So I'm going to take that front part off. And I'm just going to put shelves in there for more storage. But, yeah, I got all sorts of... All sorts of stuff. I really have got to organize, go through, sort, separate, and put back in its home. You know, and, uh, yeah, this is, uh, weekend before Halloween. And believe it or not, it's going to be in the 80s down here in Virginia today. So I don't think I'm going to need the wood stove. Although, it has been cold enough the last couple of weeks. I should say cool enough that uh, I have been using it. And, uh, oh yeah, there's the uh, shed radio. But, yeah, I just got, I got a lot of stuff I just gotta go through, pick up, organized, and believe it or not, most of this stuff you see here is good. It serves a purpose. Even, you know, the little scraps of wood. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of times, like these little scraps of wood right here they're they're more important than a brand new piece of wood a lot of times having that little little scrap of wood for handy for some little project that you need a shim something like that man those they come in they come in so handy they really do anyway that's pretty much the uh, entire shed 
like I said, it's uh, it's getting there. Trying to get everything organized. I got uh, three car engines, automotive engines sitting over there, and about four other engines, uh, lawnmower. I think there's a motorcycle engine over there. I don't know. And there's the new pool that showed up just as I was cleaning up the shed and taking down the old pool. And there's the uh, front panel, the old front panel on the top of the camper. Wife wanted to save that. Um, that will be going up here on that bare spot. And uh, yeah, I'll be hanging it up there. Like I said, uh, to give you a perspective, that pegboard is just below that door. And then I got another four feet that go up. Actually, that's probably about another five. Yeah, it's about another five feet that goes up till you get to the bottom of the, uh, get to the bottom of the trusses. So it's, it's a pretty tall shed. Lots of room in here. Of course, you wouldn't know with the way I have it cluttered. But anyway, that's the shed in the state it's in right now. And, uh, well, don't know what that button did, but I hit it by accident. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much the uh, <clears throat> tour of the shed. Like I said, uh, once I get it cleaned up, this will give you a reference to what it looked like before and after. And uh, I'll be, be working on that for the next week or so. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to put out a video, let you know I'm still around. And uh, yeah, yeah, this here, <laughs> like I said, for Halloween, sorry about that. This uh, I just died this last night, so this is the first time I'm actually seeing myself as I'm making this video, and it's, yeah, it's kind of, kind of freaking me out, too. But anyway, <clears throat> it's not too far off from what I used to look like when I was younger. Um, matter of fact, I'll, uh, I'll throw in a, a couple of pictures here right about now. All right, this is a picture of me when I was younger. It's got to be around over 20 years ago. Me and my nephew Tommy, he's a little bit older than me. My nephew Claude's behind me. And my nephew Kenny was right behind my nephew Tommy. This, of course, is uh, part of my profile picture. Uh, God, I don't remember when that was taken. It's an older picture, probably about 10 years old. And uh, we get back to me now. All right, you all take care. All right, I hope uh, <laughs> hope you got a kick out of that. But uh, anyway, I want to thank everyone to uh, thank everyone for subscribing, guys. I really appreciate it. This channel is growing. Uh, you're you're sticking with me. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And like I said, in the future here, have patience, please. I'll probably throw out a couple more of these little boring videos, but we'll get back to actual projects and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, y'all have a good Halloween. Have a safe Halloween. Enjoy yourselves. Take care, and we'll see you next time.